Hi guys, welcome to my channel Easy DIY Cooking. Salam Ramadan Al Mubarak to all Muslim viewers. Selamat berpuasa kepada semua yang beragama Islam. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make pineapple jam for pineapple tart cookies. I have here 500 grams of white granulated sugar, 300 grams of soft light brown sugar. We are going to use some salt, one inch of cinnamon stick, three cloves. I have here five pandan leaves. This is this tree is a regular pineapple, semi-ripe, and this one is a sweet pineapple, nanas madu. So, let's get started. First step, let's deal with this pandan leaf. We are going to tear like this. To make this pineapple jam is relatively easy but a little bit time consuming is going to be my labor of love. It's going to take probably make a knot like this. Right. And put this here. I'm going to show you how to deal with this pineapple. First, take the bottom off. Cut it. Make sure you have a sharp knife and to make your life easier, cut it in half and take the skin off like so. All right? Just follow the curve of the pineapple now there's some green bits here This, this uh, pineapple that I'm using is semi-ripe. And then take the, the eyes off. I'll show you. So here you go. Let's wash our pineapple.
Okay. So let's cut our pineapple in quarter. So this is my last one. Look. There's a lot of juice here. See? I'm going to cook the pineapple with all of the juices. Some recipes, they strain the juice out, but I want all the pineapple goodness inside my jam. So, it will take more time to, to cook, but it's going to be worth it. And this pineapple jam, homemade pineapple jam is much more delicious than the store-bought one. It's totally worth it if you make it yourself. So, cubalah buat sendiri. Dia lebih sedap daripada yang dibeli. Okay? Okay. Let's clear this thing up a little bit. So let's start cooking our pineapple jam. I have this on high heat, see? Because there's a lot of juice here, a lot of water. So you, you don't... Um, you are not going to risk it burnt, you know. Masak dengan api yang kuat sebab air jus nanas ni masih banyak. And let's put our pandan leaf, daun pandan, a teaspoon of salt. And our cinnamon stick, kulit kayu manis, and the clove, bunga cengke. At this point, you don't have to stir all the time. Once in a while is fine. Tak perlu untuk kacau setiap masa. We are not going to put the sugar at this stage. Maybe after one hour, we are going to put the sugar. Kita akan letakkan gula mungkin selepas satu jam. Okay. Okay, guys. It has been half an hour. Dah 30 minit. It's, it's partially dried now. It's paruka ring. Now we can put in our sugar. White sugar.
and brown sugar from this from this point on if you have your heat maximum you have to stir all the time quite a lot so you have two choices here it's either a medium medium high heat and stir occasionally or high heat and stir all the time so that it won't burn so uh kalau masa um api kuat kenalah selalu kacau kalau api perlahan boleh kacau sekali sekala jangan sampai jam kita hangus okay we want it dry totally dry okay and the color will change brownish okay okay I've been stirring this constantly and it took a lot faster than I expected but I never leave the side of the of this filling not for a second and I stir this constantly it took me one hour and 30 minutes on high heat because I don't have the patience to wait for th three hours on low heat so this is what we are looking for you can see here is very sticky very sticky and dry and it looks rough you can see the fibers of the pineapple here and it turned brown not black and this is done Okay, so uh, inti tak nenas kita sudah siap. Saya telah mengacau inti ini selama satu setengah jam dengan api yang kuat. Api kuat kerana saya tak boleh menunggu di sini tiga jam. So, saya masak ini dengan api yang kuat selama satu setengah jam. Jika anda menggunakan api yang perlahan, Mungkin anda akan terpaksa mengacau selama 3 jam So, uh, ini yang kita mahukan Inti yang pekat dan kering Dan nampak serat nenas Seperti ini Okey Dan nampak perang keemasan Jangan sam jangan sampai inti anda hangit, okey Nanti sia-sia segala usaha so, sekarang, uh, now, we can turn the heat off and leave this to cool down at room temperature. After it's cool, uh, after it's cool down, you can put it in an airtight container and put it in the fridge. And this, this needs to mature for a day or two before it's ready to use. And I'm going to make a pineapple tart for... Uh, Adil Fitri uh, the end of fasting and this pineapple tart is a must in most homes in Malaysia it's very popular cookie and um, I think you're, you're gonna love it so wait for my upcoming videos for the pineapple tart so thank you for watching see you next time bye